Hey everybody, Dave Weiss here for the Glue Bomb Show. Well, today I've got a, an unboxing for you. Basically what it means is this, right now life is really busy. I am preparing another series of speaking messages for a couple weeks away. I need to get that done. I'm preparing for vacation. Remember, I record these a little bit in advance. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just going to do an unboxing. I want to share another kit with you. And I'm hoping that I'll be able to get back to my B-17 soon. The commission that I have is a six foot by two foot painting. It's almost done, but I had to get it finished. And so I had to kind of put my model projects to the side. I'm not going to have a lot of time to build in the next couple weeks. And I'm thinking about maybe just picking up this really simple one and putting it together. This is another one of the Hawk kits. You know I love the weirdos and the uh, silly surfers and, of course, these Frantix kits. These are a lot of fun, too. I have a good time with this. I may become more of a figure builder than I already am because I just really enjoy these. They go together nicely and uh, quickly, and I can use that. I love this. I mean, this is very much early 60s stuff here, right? Um, let's see. Bopped out steel pluckers having a bash. And it says, the twang and sang and stars of the sappy swing in 60s. I think this is going to be a fun kit to build. I have to admit, though, I opened this a little bit ago, and I was a little disappointed. First, we'll look at the instructions, okay? Of course, these Hawk kits, with they, there's not a lot of parts to them. You can figure these out pretty intuitively for the most part. You'll know what these pieces are ahead of time. So they're, they're not real complex. They just have photos that basically show you how it goes together. They don't give you painting instructions because you're supposed to paint these the way you see fit. Uh, these guys are wearing plaids and stripes together in the art. I like to paint them like the cover art. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to pull that off, but I think I might set it as a goal to make it look as much as I can like Bill Campbell's art. I love Bill Campbell's art. There's something about that early 60s, right? I was a little kid. I was born in the early 60s. So some of this is just really resonates with me. But when I opened the box... I struggled a little bit. I had this same issue with the Silly Surfers. I built a couple of the Silly Surfers now. I built the uh, the uh, Hodad making the scene with a six-pack and the Woody on Safari. And they're both very similar in size. But I also built the uh, the Ride in Tandem with the, the guy holding up on the surfboard with the his, supporting the, his girlfriend, I guess, by the on his feet. And that one was much smaller, so it really didn't fit with the other one. Still a nice kit, looked really good, but if I'm going to display them together, they're not the same scale. That's what happened here, too. I'm starting to wonder if they just went smaller when they had uh, two kits, uh, two characters in a kit. Because as you can see, okay, this is, his, uh, this is one of the guitar player's bodies. And as you can see, it's this high. So this in no way, shape, or form goes with the bongo player that I already had. They are two different sizes, so they're not really going to display well together. The other thing I noticed was the guy on the box art is very clearly playing an electric guitar. In the kit, there's an acoustic. Now again, that's not a big deal. But the issue is I'm trying to build these and paint these to look like the box art but they didn't give me the same thing that's included in the box art. You can see we've got a microphone stand here. Um, each of these guys is on their own little platform. So that's kind of neat because you can display them apart or together that way. Here we have the torso of the other guy. Here's part of the head. You can see that mouth wide open. Actually, both sides of the head. Over here we have the banjo. Now, I'm not sure what they're thinking on the banjo, I guess a couple guys in the 60s did play banjos, but also notice this banjo has six strings. I know most banjos seem to have five strings or four strings, so I'm not sure about that. But again, that's me being a little bit technical. Um, and I got to be honest, I'm not a banjo expert. If I had my way, I might even consider re-sculpting these and making them different, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that because, again, the reason I'm jumping to this is because I don't have a lot of time and sculpting takes a lot of time. Uh, we also have an amplifier here. Here's the other stage, some of the feet. 
the back of the guitar uh, soda bottle, another wide open mouth uh, character. That's the other side of the head. And over here, of course, we have more feet. We've got arms, another mic stand. This looks like a base for a mic stand. Uh, all in all, I think it's going to be fun. Okay, I think it's going to go together nicely. It looks like a good kit. The pieces look in good shape. I, I love these Hawk kits. always have. But I really do wish that they had gone uh, proportional so that it would match up with my drummer because I really would love to display these together. And at this point, they're not proportional, so I really can't. Anyway, I know it's going to be fun. I'm hoping to get to it soon. My commission is almost done. I've got about two sessions left to write for my next speaking engagement. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to jump in on this pretty quickly uh, and get it done. But we'll see. What I know is this. I'm not going to put a lot of pressure on myself to get these things done. Because if I put pressure on myself, guess what happens? Model building ceases to be fun. And model building is supposed to be fun. So anyway, guys, have fun. Build something cool today. And have a good time. God bless. Yeah.